Replicas, replicas, replicas. I think Nike Tech Fleece is one of the most copied items as we find many replicas on online marketplaces. Check this out. I found a one-to-one -one replica from eBay for Nike Tech Fleece weather resistant hoodie. So I got this hoodie from eBay for 110 pounds and the seller says they bought from Nike and it is 100% authentic. But these eBay sellers mentioned in the description normally they bought from Nike or purchased from reputed retailers or previous season stocks to mislead you. So the buyers think that these are genuine items but they are not. Especially this Nike Tech Fleece weather resistant hoodie from current season. So you won't be able to buy this hoodie from Nike to resell on eBay. However, these are one-to-one -one replicas, very identical. That's why they sell at a high price. And the other thing is, you won't be able to spot differences without a genuine. Right guys, now let's see how you can spot a Nike Tech Fleece replica hoodie. Right guys, first up, you can spot a replica by checking the packaging. Packaging could be slightly different, but most of the time, the hoodies come flatter and wider. So, less chances for creasing. They fold the hoodie into two and put sleeves and hood inside. Similar to these photos, they do come in poly bags. They are in good quality and thick and strong. However, I got this fake hoodie folded, like shown in the photo, in a thin low quality small poly bag with a sticker on. I never seen this type of sticker in packaging before. Next up, what I noticed is the fake hoodie fabric color is slightly lighter than the genuine. Also, overlays on the genuine hoodie has a dark black and the fake comes lighter. When you're looking at the fabrics closely, I can see more white patches on this fake grey hoodie with comparing to the genuine. And the fabric itself on the genuine hoodie is more sturdy, won't bend easily. But on the fake hoodie, fabric is thin and flimsy. Keep in mind, if you are new to tech face fabric, you won't be able to spot the difference without a genuine hoodie. Also, make sure to check the four rubber stamps on the four pocket corners positioned correctly. Most of the fake tech fleeces, they couldn't get this right. Either the gap to the seam is too close or too wide. However, on the genuine hoodie, all four stamps positioned exactly the same. Have a look at the main zip too. Both zips are very identical. However, if you look closely, the quality is different. Genuine hoodie comes with SAB zips. Feels durable. However, these are easy to copy, but couldn't match the quality or the exact color. Also, back of the zip is more neater on the genuine hoodie with comparing to the fake. No loose threadings. Another main difference on these hoodies are the chest zippers. The fake hoodie zipper comes bigger and longer. Also, the outer line on the fake comes thicker than the genuine. Like I said earlier, no one would spot these differences without a genuine hoodie or when you are out in town. Next up guys, you can check the Nike logo. Looks very identical. However, when looking closely, you can spot the difference in the print quality. On the genuine hoodie, quality is very good, whereas the fake is not that good. The material that they used for overlays on the fake hoodie not strong as the genuine. Genuine has a rough feel to the touch and feels very durable. Fake overlay material is a bit flimsy and floppy, feels lighter. By checking the stitchings, you can spot a replica too. The stitchings on the replica doesn't look strong and neat with comparing to the genuine. Also looks messy, doesn't have that neat and quality finish. Next up, check the neck label. The quality itself and the print quality is different. Also, back of the neck label, turned inside out. You can clearly see the loose threadings on the fake. Whereas the genuine label got a neat finish. Same as the neck label, check the quality of wash labels and the print too. You can clearly see the differences in print quality on these two labels. Finally, you can spot the differences on the tags too. Tax paper material itself, print quality are different. On the fake hoodie, they used cheaper materials to keep the cost down. They look the same, but the quality is different. Right guys, to wrap things up, you won't be able to spot the differences on this fake hoodie if you don't have a genuine hoodie in your hand or if you are new to tech place hoodies. So my best advice is 
Do not buy from online marketplaces. Don't look for that cheaper option. It is always better to pay that extra price. So buy from Nike store or a reputed retailer. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.